हमारे बहुत स्पेशल आम शिवानी घरत आई एम एट द मोबाइल वर्ल्ड कांग्रेस इन बार्सिलोना एंड दिस इज व्हेन द मोस्ट पावरफुल डिसीजन मेकर्स इन टेक डिसेंड ऑन बार्सिलोना अलोंग विद 80000 अदर अटेंडीज आई एम हियर ऑन ग्राउंड getting in key insights from the experts catching up with them and understanding how will tech impact the business media and advertising landscape in the coming days was one of the main themes at this year's Mobile World Congress with fifth generation of mobile network already bringing in more data more quickly to millions of devices around the world now IT brand HCL Tech was also present in a big way at this Mobile World Congress and they were speaking about 5G acceleration and its application and use cases across businesses now if you recall a few months ago HCL Tech Uh, refreshed its uh, brand positioning to supercharging progress so how was this brand communicating this new brand positioning to its stakeholders and clients present at the venue and why has the company up its fourth sponsorship game over the past couple of months so tell us more we are joined in by jill kuri cmo hcl tech It's been like six months since you unveiled your new brand positioning, supercharging progress. Uh, I remember speaking to you back then. How has it worked for the brand so far, Jill? We're, we're thrilled at the take up, both externally with all of our key stakeholders as well as internally. As you know, we've got about two hundred and twenty thousand people around the world, and part of the reason that this is so successful is because our people are evangelizing. both the overarching brand position of supercharging progress but also our brand purpose which is very easy to remember which is to bring together the best of technology and our people to supercharge progress and there are four key pillars if you recall from our first conversation where we're really bringing supercharging progress to life and that is around our clients our people the communities where we work and live and then the planet at large so i think that construct is really helping a lot of things that we've already been doing as an organization fall into place. And now we've got the great brand position as well as this exciting new visual identity. I think it's just really been a galvanizing force uh, again yeah. across all audiences. So we're quite happy. Yeah, and not just the brand has come up with a new brand positioning but also has been very active on the advertising front. uh you know you had um, you of course have the metlife uh, stadium uh yeah. in new york and then uh, uh the formula 1 partnership and association that hcl has lapped up uh in the past couple of months so uh what is the interest in uh, you know these sporting associations jill yeah well i'm glad you've noticed um we we did launch the partnership with metlife which is the home of the new york jets and new york giants right around the same time as the brand launch and then a fast follow a month later was our partnership with Ferrari and F1 and we think of these sports partnerships as an in, an investment really not an expense and there are multiple reasons why we made the decision on both of those relationships one is that we have a keen interest in doing business with sports entities Um, in the past, we did work. We did sponsorship and work with Manu. We helped them launch their app. We're partnering with Cricket Australia. We've been doing that for four years, and we're also a key business services provider for them. And then with MetLife, we are the official digital transformation and tech services partner. Um, same with F1. F1 is on the HCL software side, and the soft software team is working with the Ferrari team from a business perspective. So that's business from a hospitality and client relationship building perspective. I mean, you cannot replace the amazing experience of being able to sit on the 50-yard line at a football game and you know that American football is the sport of the most popular sport in the US um or be in the paddock at an F1 race. 
So the opportunity for us to do really amazing client, ex create client experiences that can't be purchased is a huge reason I think we and other organizations are doing much more in the, in the sports world. But it's also a huge attraction for prospective employees. Hmm. I just heard a story from our head of HR in the US who told me that a number of people who join one of our cohorts in, in the Dallas area, um, you know, our, our name wasn't quite as well known in the younger population, but now that they're seeing the F1 affiliation, <laughs> It's helping them stand up and take notice of us, us as an organization. Sure. So the pull through opportunity of partnering with massive entities like this is huge. Yeah. Uh, you know, Jill, this year's uh, MWC's theme is around AI, digital, metaverse, and ESG. How do you see HCL, uh, you know, super like your supercharging progress uh, theme uh, translate into these particular areas? Yeah, ESG, just broadly speaking, inside Mobile World, World Congress or outside, I think we're very proud of the efforts we're making. Inside, inside Mobile World Congress, yes, the focus is absolutely on 5G. 5G, yeah. And, the, and not so much the tech, yes, the technology of, and the adoption and the implementation of 5G, but the bigger topic is what are the problems that, 5G is going to solve? Where are the innovations that customers really need and demand that are going to provide the ROI for companies to invest? So 5G is coming. I mean, it's here. It is, it is going to be here at scale very soon. It already is, as you know, in many markets. We led a panel discussion this morning with five providers um, across multiple areas in the space. And the big topic was when are consumers going to demand enough, let's just take the metaverse, when is there going to be a demand whereby there is a wholesale switch from dealing in the physical space to switching over to digital? The big example that was talked about in the panel today is COVID was the driver for everybody to start using video conferencing at scale. The technology has existed for years. Yeah. Microsoft Teams, Zoom, all of the platforms were there. People were generally using them for personal dealings, right? Sure. Now we can't imagine what how we would interact without video conferencing. So what where are those tipping points going to happen in society where you know Gen Z is going to say I am never stepping foot in a retail store again. I am only going to go in the metaverse. I'm going to buy my you know, Oculus headset or my full <laughs> suit that will enable me to interact seamlessly and immersively in the metaverse to do all of my retail experiences. Sure. Like, what is that tipping point going to be? And we have some amazing demos in our booth right now that showcase the art of the possible, both in having showcasing how a mobile phone provider can do product launches in the metaverse, can answer service customer service questions, can trial new um, apps. That is, you know, I'm sure a lot of companies are, are starting to take a look at that. And then we've also got a, a really cool retail demo, which you can take a look at when you leave here, hopefully. Um, that, again, it demonstrates the art of the possible. All right, Jill, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing these insights with us. And thank you for catching up with us at the Mobile World Congress. Thank you for having me, Shilvani. Amongst the topics that were explored at this year's Mobile World Congress was Metaverse. Whether it is future, fad or fraud. There were a lot of conversations on how it will change advertising for good too. But what are the other texts apart from Metaverse that will change advertising in the coming days? Well, my next conversation is just about that. At MWC, I'm catching up with Dickin Laws, who is Head of Innovation and Head of Ogilvy Emerging Experience Lab. Dickin, welcome to CNBC TV, ATN Thank Storyboard. You. Uh, tell us about what do you really do? What is, uh, you know, the Emerging Experience Lab at Ogilvy? Sure. So, Ogilvy's Emerging Experience Lab is, is shortcut. We call it reality. Um, 
our job is as a working within a kind of advertising network or an experience network is to look forward into what the emerging technologies and the emerging behaviors are and try and bring those forward so they're applicable for brands today so at the moment you could say that things like augmented reality artificial intelligence vr not all of those are emerging technologies, but they yeah. are emerging experiences that brands are starting to see as quite strategic rather than maybe what they've been in before is tactical. Our job is to tell them strategically why they have value for them as a business sure. as opposed to just technologies. Yeah, and you uh, launched, I believe, Reality. Yes. Like yes. a couple of months ago. Yeah, so we launched in November. Yeah, launched in November. And so what is the kind of work that Reality has done so far? Okay, great. Good question. So we've done some really exciting things. So. Um, one of the first things we did um, was to work with Nokia. Obviously, Nokia of, uh, here at MWC in, in quite a magnificent stand, which you've probably seen, yeah. and they've relaunched their brand. Yes. Um, one of the first things that we did as reality was to help Pekka Lundberg, who is their CEO, yeah. kind of create a really disruptive invitation to bring people to MWC to hear his announcements and see him on stage in his keynote. And we did that through like using volumetric captures. We created a hologram of Pekka to disrupt Nokians and the investor community to figure out that Nokia were doing something a bit differently. Hmm. So we went to Finland, we captured him as a hologram in, in his locality, and then we created an AR experience, which then sent out to all 90,000 Nokian employees to bring them all together to understand what the rebranding was all going to be about. And it's that kind of use of technology that people are really excited by because it really starts to show them that actually things like AR are not just for funny face filters or gimmicky models. Yes. They can be really impactful when it comes to yeah, engaging yeah. And, experiences. And, in general, what are the kind of solutions that clients yeah. are looking for in this emerging tech space? So what we're seeing at the moment is two real focuses. One around augmented realities um, and much more of a focus on how they become strategic tools, not just kind of creative content experiences. Mm. And the other one is obviously kind of more generative AI work, obviously really hot topic at the moment. Um, but clients are really keen to understand how they can use things like chat GTP and GPT-3 in more strategic ways as opposed to the novelty that we're seeing at the moment in some of the in some of the use cases for it yeah and since we are meeting at MWC any um, uh, you know any interesting tech or uh, you know interesting solutions uh, which can be applied effectively to the advertising industry that you've seen on ground it's a great question I think you've got two parts to MWC right you've got the actual main body of, of the experience that's happening here but then you've got four years from now as the kind of the secondary part of it yeah. and I think that's really been what's really exciting for us I think where we, where we focus on the brand and application and the consumer interactions, a lot of the main uh, displays here are kind of vendors selling large scale enterprise technologies. Four years from now is where all the startups are coming together and inherently the startups are much more focused on the end user so we're seeing there hmm. loads of technologies that can be better applied um, so we're seeing ai we're seeing health experiences we're seeing lots of in innovations that are putting consumer at the heart of the experience as opposed to corporations thank you so much thank you well it is time for a short break more conversations and insights from mobile world congress barcelona on the other side of this break Thank you.